Well, our sports correspondent Dara McIntosh joins us now live from the Jamaican capital, Kingston. Dara, first of all, bring us up with the latest on the police investigation. Well, the latest at this point is that the two Pakistani officials that did fly in from Washington, D.C., were up until the wee hours on Sunday night visiting the crime scene, going over evidence. It was actually their first time going up to the room and actually seeing where Bob Woman was murdered. After that, today, they met with the foreign prime minister here in Jamaica and the national security officers here. So it, it leads you to believe that there may be something else going on, that they have some information. Secondly, I can tell you that the ICC has started their own investigation into the probe to see if match fixing was indeed involved in this murder. They also want to join in on the investigation. So Jeff Rees, who's of the anti-corruption unit of the ICC, is now joining in on the investigation. So a little bit of movement today. Okay, Dara, and just how is Jamaica coping with such intense scrutiny? A week into this investigation and the world's media is still out there in force. Yeah, you know, at first the Jamaican residents were very angry that this happened at, during, you know, in their territory and on their time. They were so excited to have the World Cup even be staged here. So at first they were angry, but then they were relieved to know that it wasn't a local person who possibly could have done this to the coach. Now today they're saying, you know, how come it is that the Bob Warmer case is going to get a speedy coroner's inquest? So they're going through their own emotions, but the games go on and they're just happy it wasn't a Jamaican resident. Okay, Dara McIntosh with the latest from Kingston. Many thanks. Al Jazeera's Dara McIntosh joins me now live from Miami. And uh, Dara, we were wondering uh, about some of the talk uh, this week that the Bears may have an advantage for a couple of reasons. Perhaps you can elaborate on that. Absolutely, Brendan. They have more than an advantage, actually. It seems that right now the Bears fans are outnumbering Colts fans about 5-1. to one. And yesterday evening I was walking through the streets of South Beach with a couple Bears players, and this, Brendan, is all they saw. This is not a Chicago Bears hat, but these colors are lining the streets of South Beach so it seems like the Bears will certainly feel like they're at home. It's been a quiet week so far. No injuries to report, no uh, arrests to report, but some news in the last few hours from the NFL will be of interest to fans overseas. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely, Brendan. Earlier in the day, uh, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell actually officially announced that the NFL will hold a regular season game to be played in London's Wembley Stadium. Now, that's going to take place October 28th between the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins. That game is significant because it's not an exhibition game, but a regular season game. Dara McIntosh, live in Miami, site of Super Bowl 41. Thank you, Dara.